I am Nageshwar Reddy, gastroenterologist and chairman of the Asian Institute of Gastroenterology in Hyderabad, India. I am with Dr. Zaheer Navi, who is a senior gastroenterologist and director of our endoscopy services at the Asian Institute of Gastroenterology. Uh, he has been a senior author of a recent article that was published, The Conventional versus Oblique Fiber Sparing Endoscopic Myotomy for Achalasia Cardia, a randomized control study done at uh, AAG hospitals and uh, which was uh, recently published in gastrointestinal endoscopy. So Zaheer, why do you feel the need to do this study? So uh, like every new modality, the initial focus uh, of the studies is to evaluate for the feasibility, safety and efficacy of uh, that particular modality. And uh, while the safety and efficacy have been proven in multiple studies, what we have found in recent studies is that the incidence of gastroesophageal reflux disease after poem is really high especially if we see reflux esophagitis as well as increased esophageal acid exposure which is found in almost 50 to 60 percent of cases after poem and of course uh, a few case reports of barracks esophagus and peptic esophageal structures are also published in recent times more worrisome is the fact that uh, silent GERD is more common after uh, poem which means that all the patients should be screened regardless of their symptoms, again adding to the cost and discomfort. And moreover, we don't know how long to give PPIs, the exact treatment duration is still uncertain. So definitely we need studies uh, to identify the risk factors and modified techniques which specifically intend to reduce reflux after poem. As we know that sling fibers form an important component of natural anti-reflux barrier and their preservation has been shown to be effective in at least two previous retrospective cohort studies. So therefore, we planned a randomized study to see the impact of preserving sling fibers on the incidence of reflux esophagitis after poem. So what does this uh, study add to the existing knowledge? I think uh, Zay, this is an important study because we've always thought that preserving the sling fibers or the oblique fibers actually decrease the reflex. So when we were doing a myotomy, we were actually going towards the right, towards the lesser to our side, hoping to preserve the sling fibers. But this study uh, shows that this does not happen. In fact, the earlier Japanese studies which showed clearly that preserving the sling fibers decreases the reflex were a little different from this study. And I think this is important to notice because the dif differences were in the design. Uh, the, I think the type of patients, uh, for example, uh, sigmoid, uh, Achalasia was excluded from this study and showed type 3 also and similarly I think in this study uh, we had a shorter duration of myotomy being done compared to what was happening in other studies both gastric and esophageal. The third difference seems to be when you test for your uh, esophageal pH. If you do it two weeks after stopping the PPI then you may get a different results from what we have done that is stopping at least four weeks. So if you stop at least after four weeks and you get the two results of uh, reflux in this patient. So all these differences suggest that uh, this study different from Japanese study but is still very important because it would suggest that anatomical variations in how we do a myotomy does not make a difference in terms of decreasing the reflux. So what should come next Zai? So this is a very important question. Uh, if you see POEM is the most recent of the uh, available treatment modalities including pneumatic dilatation and Heller's myotomy which form uh, the core of treatment along with POEM and it has been just over a, a decade that first POEM was performed and many modifications of technique have been uh, evaluated and mainly to address the technical nuances of POEM procedure. For example, anterior and posterior POEM have been evaluated and found similar. We have also seen in randomized trials that long and short esophageal myotomy, they don't make a big difference. So uh, unfortunately, none of the modifications have been found to affect GERD after poem substantially. So it brings us to the argument that should we call it a day and stop hunting for uh, the preventive techniques uh, to prevent GERD after poem. I think let's not forget that uh, after uh, Heller's myotomy, which was introduced in 1914, the uh, lab fundoplication formed a part of Heller's myotomy only 50 years later. So I believe that we should continue our efforts in this regards and then finally uh, I hope that in near future we should definitely get an answer. In fact if we see that uh, uh, in the era of precision medicines 
uh, we should more rely on objective criteria rather than subjective uh, judgment, especially with regards to the length of my interview. In this regards, I think endoflip allows intraoperative measurement of lower esophageal distensibility during poem and it enables us to tailor myotomy to ensure adequate distensibility while minimizing postoperative reflux. Thank you, Zahir. I think the study definitely adds to our understanding of what is happening regarding reflex in uh, post uh, poem patients, and hopefully, more such studies would continue to be done in this area. Thank you. Thank you.